So I'm only able to look this smooth. I mean, assuming you think I look all right, I'm only able to do this because I know where the ball is going to be. All right, guys, today I want to talk about how you can develop sound fundamentals to allow you to play tennis, rally with a friend, maybe get out there and play some competition. Now, the first thing to understand is that you can't be any better at sending the ball than you are at receiving the ball. So what I mean by that is you can't be any better at hitting those shots that you're trying to develop than your ability to anticipate where that ball is going to bounce, how high it's going to bounce, the spin, the speed, all that stuff that's going to allow you to get in the right place to strike the ball. Because technique is essentially coordination and timing. And you may be working on that coordination, but if you don't know where that ball is going to be, you can't time the swing. So what we have to do is develop basic swings that allow you to control the tennis ball and rally with a friend. Now what I suggest focusing on, if you're a beginner, you're looking for some technical advice, is to finish with the back of the racket next to your head. A small swing on the take back that allows me to time the tennis ball, nothing too elaborate that's gonna make timing difficult and try and finish with the back of the racket next to the head. Same on the backhand side, simple swing, back of the racket next to the head. All right, we gotta be able to rally because the better your timing gets, the more you can do with the swing, the more you can try and wind it up and use bigger muscles accelerate the racket, start lagging, all that stuff is possible and easier once you know where that ball is going to be. Yesterday I was on court and these two guys arrived with a basket and they're about 30 years old, kind of beginner to intermediates. One of them is feeding the other one balls while he's winding up and cracking it and then they switch roles where the other guy's feeding, the other guy's hitting, then they try and rally and no rallies happen and they're not really getting better because that ball's not getting hit back and forth. They were trying to develop that awesome forehand while the mate throws them a ball but really what they should be doing is developing simple basic swings that allow them to control the ball into the court, move it around a little bit, add a little bit of power here and there, just be able to control the tennis ball in a way where it gets returned and then they get to anticipate how that ball is going to bounce, where it's going to bounce, and then once they get comfortable with the sending and receiving, working together, and the better the receiving skills become, the better the sending skills can become. And the more you can start to put on those YouTube videos of someone showing you how to create lag and, and actually do it, and actually make you better. But the more you work on sending skills without being able to rally, the less you develop receiving skills, and then you've got this mismatch, and as we say in England, you're just pissing in the wind. So, you know, the game is about being able to track this ball. So I'm only able to look this smooth. I mean, assuming you think I look all right, I'm only able to do this because I know where the ball is going to be, right? So I know where this ball is going to be, which allows me to be smooth and coordinated as I'm hitting it. When those people are like, are like this, maybe you're one of them, and they're all, you know, they don't really know where that ball's gonna be, so then the technique looks all out of whack. You know, you can't, I've never seen anyone with great technique that doesn't have great receiving skills. So you need to develop technique that allows you to play the game, you know, simple strokes that allow you to play the game to the best of your ability. Then you can develop anticipation, and then you can start to refine your technique. And these two things just go hand in hand and one helps the other. Right. I thought some of you would be really interested to see me working with a player on this kind of stuff. And I've got someone here that he's been only playing for about a year. He's got pretty solid strokes and I was trying to point that out, that his strokes are quite good. The real issue or the real challenge is anticipating the incoming ball. So we do a couple of exercises to try and get him to, first of all, see what kind of spin that I'm hitting, and then secondly, to see where the ball's gonna land, if it's gonna be short in the middle of the court or deep. You can see him or hear him calling these things out. You guys can try this. 
You obviously don't have to call them out loud, but try and pick up on what your opponent's hitting, recognize the spin, the speed, the depth of the ball, and it's really gonna improve your game. On top of that, develop technique that works in these situations. Talk to you soon. Because your technique is really good right now. It's just when balls come at different speeds and heights and spins, you don't know where the ball's gonna be. And if you don't know where the ball's gonna be, you can't time the swing. That's exactly right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and in order to time the shot, you have to read how fast it's coming, how high it's coming, and what the spin on it. That's what's, the, that's what's difficult about tennis. So once I've hit it, just call out whether it's got slice on it, if it's flat, or if it's topspin. So if, if you call out topspin, what's gonna happen? Ball jump high? <laughs> yeah, the ball's gonna jump towards you. If you call out slice and you get it right, if it's low, it'll skid. If it's high, it's gonna stop a little bit. Okay. So a high slice will stop. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's call it out here. Slice. Top speed. Slice. Flat. Good. Middle. Short. Good. Get back. Deep. Good. Middle. Oh, short. That's all right. That was probably Middle. about right. Middle. Good, so now you gotta look at the spins as well as where it's gonna land. Back spin. Good. So what's really important is you develop this skill, so you're always paying attention to how the person's hitting the ball or how they're shaping up to hit the ball. But then also, when you're working on your technique, you have to think about developing a stroke that works in all of this craziness. Yeah. All right? And the more people practice like the elaborate strokes, the less they work in this situation. So don't get carried away with trying to hit the Federer style forehand yeah. or whatever. Think about, I want to develop a really solid stroke that so that when the ball lands short, deep, it's got spin, I can move over there and I can hit it clean. Yeah, that makes so much sense. <laughs> okay, yeah. good, good. Really. Thank you. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can visit tpatennis.com I've got a monthly video analysis program where you guys can send me unlimited videos.